हेलो स्टूडेंट व्हाट्सअप दिस इज अनुप सॉफ फ्रॉम कोलकाता दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑन द कैपेसिटर सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो एंड इन इन दिस टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू गिव एन आइडिया अबाउट द एनर्जी लॉस ऑन शेयरिंग ऑफ चार्जेज एक्चुअली वेन एवर देर इज अ शेयरिंग ऑफ चार्ज देन देर लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी हैपन्स सो वी विल कैलकुलेट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी in a, in this video so let's start so here in the picture you are watching that this is a capacitor or conductor whatever and it has a capacitance c1 and it has initial potential v1 okay and it is just resting on a on an on an wooden stand so that charged doesn't get discharged okay similarly there is another conductor and it has a capacitance c2 and its potential is different that is v2 okay it's also resting on an wooden stand now uh, we know very well that uh, c is equal to q y v so on cross multiplication we will get q is equal to cv that means that the charge charge is just the multiple multiplication of the capacitance and the potential of the conductor okay so here the charge will be equal to charge suppose the charge is q1 equal it will be equal to c1 v1 and here the charge will be equal to c2 v2 whatever and uh, before one more thing i would like to say that the energy the potential energy uh, from the previous lecture we know that potential energy that is up u subscript p is equal to 1 by 2 c v square okay c is the capacitance v is the potential so in this case in this case it has the potential initial uh, potential energy will be equal to 1 by 2 c1 v1 square similarly this one to c2 v2 square so the total energy will be equal to u i okay 1 by 2 c1 v1 square plus 1 by 2 c2 v2 square okay now if if the if it is connected by a wire okay if it is connected by a wire what will happen that there will be a distribution of charge okay and uh, the distribution of charge will stop only when the they will have the same potential the here i am supposing that v1 is greater than v2 okay so definitely a charge will go from this one to this place that is in this direction because uh, charge always flow that is positive charge always flow from high potential to the lower potential so v1 is greater then that of b2 so definitely the charge will go from here to this right conductor so a time will come when uh, they will have a common potential and in that case the in at that situation the sharing or uh, of charge will cease and uh, even in that case one thing will be conserved that is called charge initial charge must be equal to the final charge let us suppose uh, after sharing the common potential is v okay the common potential is v i am just putting a line over it because i am giving an idea about the common potential okay so initial charge must be equal to final charge now initial charge will be equal to q1 plus q2 and final charge will be also equal to q1 plus q2 so what is q1 q1 is equal to c1 v1 from here q1 is equal to c1 v1. and q2 is equal to this will also be c2 v2 this must be equal to the here the potential will be v not v1 
after sharing of the charge when the sharing uh, stops okay when there is no exchange of charge that is the when uh, they will reach to the final potential final common potential in that case the the total charge will be equal to the multiplication of c1 with the b okay c1 will not change so c1 b similarly the charge on the second conductor will be equal to c2 b so here i can take out b and c1 plus c2 will remain in bracket that is c1 b1 plus c2 b2 okay so here from if i will take the value of v i will get an expression c1 v1 plus c2 v2 divided by c1 plus c2 so this is the this is the final common potential this is the final common potential okay so here if i am to find out the final energy now i am coming to this topics that is energy topics okay if i am to get the final energy that will be equal to 1 by 2 c1 okay c1 but v1 square will not be there v square will be there similarly 1 by 2 c2 v square again uh, v square will be common so i will get an expression 1 by 2 c1 plus c2 v square putting the value of v from here i i will get an result like this one 1 by 2 c1 plus c2 v square v square will be equal to c1 v1 plus c2 v2 divided by c1 plus c2 this will be square okay so the loss of energy must be equal to u y minus u f okay what is u y u y is this one 1 by 2 c1 v1 square plus 1 by 2 c2 v2 square minus and this one 1 by 2 c1 plus c2 into c1 v1 plus c2 v2 divided by c1 plus c2 overall square on simplification i will get the result 1 by 2 c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 into v1 minus v2 square so this is the expression for the loss of energy okay here c1 is constant c2 is constant and this uh, constant must be positive okay and this is a square term v1 minus v2 square and we know very well that square term remains always positive so the loss of energy will be a positive quantity that means that loss of energy will definitely happen whenever there is a distribution of charge or exchange of charge so thank you for watching my video and uh, i will like that you will share this video with your friend and hit the subscription button bell button to get the notification for the upcoming video of mine thank you again thank you